Okay, at this point you have set up Calico, you've got your Bluetooth connection working and you've changed the port if you had to. It's time to actually make your robot do something. So, there's my robot. First thing you need to do is start Calico. So let's double click on that start Calico icon. And it says, are you sure you want to run this software? Yep, I'm sure. You get the little black window for a minute. And then you get the nice Calico project window. Let's make it a little bit narrower so you can actually see the robot too. All right, so the first thing you need to do is make sure your robot's turned on. I turned mine off to save battery, so I'll turn it on. Now, turning it off doesn't change, doesn't mess with the Bluetooth connection at all. It just the Bluetooth won't work while it's turned off. So I've turned it on, but I don't need to, to redo the, the add Bluetooth device from before. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Calico that I want to use the robot functions. And the way to do that is using the from Miro import star command. Okay, so just so you can see it nice and big, there's what I typed from Miro import star. Okay, and then you're going to hit enter. And you'll notice down here, it copies what you wrote, so you remember what you wrote, and it says okay. So now we know the Miro libraries are loaded. The other thing that you want to remember is now that we're using Calico and not Miro, for those of you who used Miro before, we have a capital M here on the from Miro import star. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect to our robot. So what we're going to do is we're going to type init, open parentheses, and quotes, and then whatever that COM port was that you set up. In my case, it was COM8. Okay, so I typed init COM8. Of course, you're going to type whatever COM port it was that you did, but there you go. There's my init COM8. Okay. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now, when I do this, this is going to try and initialize the communication between the robot and my computer. So my robot's turned on and waiting. My computer's turned on, has the Bluetooth device in it. I already set it up so that, so that COM8 is set as my outgoing COM port. So I'm going to hit enter. As soon as I hit enter, you're going to see the little light down here, the Bluetooth light flash on my robot. And I'm going to get a message that's going to ask me for that passcode again. That's kind of like our secret code, but we all know it's 1234. So let me go ahead, hit enter. Okay. And if, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but my little red light is flashing. And down here it says a Bluetooth device is requesting to connect to your computer. To allow this connection, click this message, so I better click it. And up pops a window. The window says enter the same passkey. We know that's one, two, three, four. So I enter that and I hit next. And it says everything worked great. And I can click finish. And you heard my robot make its little beep. So there's my init com8 command. And down here it tells me what fluke I'm using, what scribbler I'm using, and it says, hello, my name is Red Rover. That's my robot's name. Now, in fact, I can change my robot name if I want. So I kind of like the name R2D2. So I could say set name R2D2. And I've put that in quotes. So let me just show you what I typed. There you go. Set name R2D2. Notice I've got the quotes around it again. Um, and also notice the capital N in set name. All right. So if I go ahead and hit enter, down here it copied my command and said, okay, so now my robot's name isn't Red Rover anymore, it's R2D2. And I can check that by writing get name. So I'm going to say get name with parentheses. Okay, so there's the get name. Again, capital N in name. So if I hit enter, there you go, get name, and it tells me my name is R2D2 now. Okay, I can also make my robot beep. I'm just going to type beep, 
and then I'm going to tell it how long to beep. I want it to beep for one second at 880 hertz. Okay, so there you go, beep 1, 880. All right, so I'll hit enter. And sure enough, my robot beeped 1 second, 880 hertz. It finished, it said okay. All right, but of course, the exciting thing is to make your robot move. So let's do that. I'm going to type forward. I want my robot to go forward at half speed because it's on the table here and I don't want it to run over the camera for one second. So let me just show you what I typed. There you go. Forward 0 0.5 for one second, so 0 0.5 comma 1. And if I hit enter, the robot moves forward slowly. Pretty cool. All right, that's it.